The team hasn't shared many details about the injury, but it isn't thought to be serious. However, given Waddle's past injuries, it's something worth paying attention to. In 2023, Waddle missed several weeks of training camp, which led to a challenging season for him as the Dolphins' WR2. He dealt with various injuries throughout the year, including a concussion, which kept him out of three games. Despite this, Waddle played through pain for most of the season and was far from his best during the Dolphins' wildcard round loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. Dolphins coach Mike McDaniel recently addressed the situation with Waddle and Braxton Berrios, another player who has missed a few practices. McDaniel described their issues as minor. We have a collection of minor things going on, he said. The good news is, they aren't major things. But it's enough to keep some players off the field. On Wednesday, the Dolphins practiced without five of their top eight receivers. Besides Waddle and Berrios, Odell Beckham is on the physically unable to perform list, Taj Washington is on injured reserve, and Eric Izukama has been out for multiple weeks. To cope with these absences, the Dolphins signed Willie Sneed 4 and Mike Harley Jr. These signings help ensure the team can continue practicing effectively. When asked if there are steps Miami can take to minimize Waddle's injuries in the future, McDaniel was optimistic. Oh, for sure, he said. Every year, we gather information to better serve our players. We understand his body and how to be more proactive. Jalen is one of the toughest wide receivers I've ever coached, and that's a great thing. But to make sure we start the season off right and keep him healthy, we take measures and learn new things. Waddle's absence from practice also highlights the importance of depth in the Dolphins' receiving core. The team has high hopes for the upcoming season, and having reliable backup options is crucial. The recent signings of Sneed and Harley Jr. show the team's proactive approach to dealing with potential gaps in the lineup. Sneed brings experience and versatility, while Harley Jr. offers youthful energy and potential. The coaching staff is also focusing on player health and recovery. With the regular season approaching, the Dolphins are likely to be cautious with their key players. This approach may mean more rest days for players dealing with minor issues, ensuring they are in peak condition for game day. Waddle's performance is vital for the Dolphins' offense. Last season, he showed flashes of brilliance despite his injuries. His speed and agility make him a critical weapon for the team's passing game. Ensuring he remains healthy could be a game-changer for Miami's playoff aspirations. Additionally, the chemistry between Waddle and quarterback Tua Tagovailoa is a significant factor for the Dolphins. They share a strong connection, dating back to their college days at Alabama. This relationship could be pivotal in high-pressure situations during the season. Keeping Waddle on the field and at his best will help maximize this dynamic duo's potential. Fans should stay tuned for further updates on Waddle's condition. The team's medical staff will continue to monitor him closely, and any changes will be communicated promptly. Meanwhile, the Dolphins will push forward with their preparations, hoping to have a fully healthy squad ready for the season opener.